Here comes Ace Darling, of course, a veteran of the independent scene. He has been around all over the East Coast and all over the country and the world, for that matter. You know, we were talking about Ace earlier and, uh, you know, the great matches he's had with Simon Diamond. Former TV champion. Right. You know, you know, really, his uh, resume speaks for itself. Look at this idiot, Brian Beaker. Man, this guy's dumb. And here is Ace Darling along with Ecstasy. Ace Stalling, there he is. Man, Ace is sure gonna have his hands full tonight, I'll tell you that. Oh, you didn't know? Oh, come on. John. But that's okay, because you got me, you got me, you got that AC, double E. Double E. And me and my girl X is the only like they take it doggy style anyway. So without him, we got the night off. Night off? Well, John, Ace Darling was, of course, scheduled to compete against Road Dog tonight. Wait a minute. Tracy Taylor, that's the Road Dog's music. I assure you folks that the Road Dog is not here. As we mentioned earlier, the Road Dog's music. By Tracy Taylor. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and another slap. Look at this. this look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's that's malice. That's malice. It's NWA Malice. Look at this. Malice. Making malice. his JCW debut tonight. This guy's huge. Well, talk about a replacement opponent. Look at the size of this guy. This is the first time we've seen him up close. And oh, well, what's this punk doing the? in the ring? Get, what is this? He's what darling. This punk in the ring. Throwing Kick a fan in the ring. I don't think he wants any part of Malice. I don't blame him. Look at this guy. He's huge. Malice. Look at this guy. Well, because of the uh, unfortunate accident involving the road dog, Ace Darling saying that uh, well, I've got the night off tonight. <laughs> Much to his dismay. NWA. That is not the case. I guess a phone call was made to somebody and Malice shows up. John, look at the size of this guy. Yeah, he's a big boy. Well, I wouldn't want to be Ace Darling right oh, now, but. Herman Munster shoots oh. oh. There you see the power advantage from Malice. He's a monster. And, well, let's not take Ace Darling lightly, John. As we no, said, I don't take Ace lightly. He's been around Maybe a long you will. time. Maybe I'll tell him that you took him lightly. I'm not taking Didn't him lightly. Didn't think he could take Malice. Huh, Ace, Mike Berkowitz? Ace Darling has a certain edge in a experience. World champion, world class athlete like Ace Darling. I'm not trying to sell Ace Darling short. He's been around a long time, and he's been around a long time for a reason. He is very good, very experienced, and very ring smart. Pull the tassels. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. 
Must have missed that. What do you know about Malice, Mike? Come on, you're the information guy. Well, Malice, of course, formerly of WCW, then known as The Wall. He is <laughs> he's a monster. He's standing in front of us right now. I know that. He appears to be looking for a fight. Now, of course, a, a resident of NWA TNA. And here he is making his debut in JCW. I don't think so. The side you headlock do there more than that. by Ace. And, oh, oh look man, that. look at the strength of this guy. Miles trying to power his way out of this one, and he does. And well, yeah, we give Ace credit there. He didn't go down. Look at that. Oh, he goes down that time. And he goes down hard. Ace Darling on the outside now. Ref Beaker administering a count. Ecstasy rushes oh. to his side. Oh, I want to see them go at it. And look at look at Tracy Taylor egging on Ecstasy. And look there at this. Go, there you go. Oh, come on, Ace. Let him come on, Ace. Uh, we might have a little calf fight before oh, this please. one's done. And look at that. Cunning move there by Ace Darling. Guillotine. And Ace now unloading on Malice. He's got to stay on him if he wants to have a chance in this. Irish whip Malice into the ropes. And look at the strength. Can I ask and you look at this. You're Ace Darling. You're signed for the Road Dog. Road Dog doesn't show up. You know, if the Yankees play the Tigers and the Tigers don't show up, they don't bring in like the, the Seattle Mariners to play them. Come on. Well, I don't know if I would equate the Road Dog with the Tigers. I'm sorry, all right? Okay, Mike, I'll make up the Yankees playing the A's. They don't bring in the, the California Angels, okay? Jeez. It's actually the Anaheim Angels now, but oh, anyway, wait. Mal is unloading here on Ace Darling. Ace said he hits the ropes and he, the turnbuckle rather, he just bounces off. Roll it out to the outside. Taking a seat in the front row. Malice looks like he's having fun. Oh, here we go, here we go. And look at look at that. Look at the strength. One hand that he just tosses Ace back into the ring. Darling doesn't know what the hell's going on. Kicks to the stomach there by Malice. This guy is unbelievable. He is a monster. Darling into the corner again, and Malice makes a mistake there. He misses. Hits that knee against the turnbuckle. Oh, and smart wrestling there by Ace Darling. He saw Malice hit that knee on the turnbuckle, and he went right after the knee with a drop Ooh, kick. And look at ring that. the bell. Oh. And this is how you've got to do it, John. This is how to beat a big man. Find a body part and take it out. I thought you were going to say you, 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 you hit him in the cojones. I thought that's what you were going to say, you beat a man. A lot of work, too. Let's hope that he's above that. And you can tell that that knee is hurting Malice right now. Well, that's, you know, you stay on. That's how you chop a big man down. You're right. Ace Darling taking full advantage. Snapmare here. And look at this. He's going to keep going to work on that knee. And now... Well, Malice trying to fight back still, but right back to that knee. And right now, you've, you've got to have a, a better opinion of Ace Darling's chances. Oh, sure. Got to have your wheels. And he's got a five count to break this hold, and he does. And Malice stops again. Oh. Here's a big Woo. chop there by Ace Darling. Woo. And another, and, oh, well, he's got to pay that, tribute. That didn't oh. work out quite as he had planned. Malice unaffected. Oh, and, oh that's a chop, folks. Woo. And there's another. I'm sorry, I got to pay tribute. Bad, I, 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 let, no, nobody. please. Oh, there you go. Ace underneath the clothesline, and ooh, there you shot go. block, that's a smart takes move. out that knee. That is a smart Can move. Can you Went imagine right how that feels? It. Right back to work on that knee. Again, Mike, we got to say what a great facility the Rexplex is. You want to come down to the TV taping. You want to be here and part of all the action in October. JCW has building announcements. We're going to be all over the state of New Jersey, Mike, and it really is great. Well, certainly it is an exciting time for all of us here at JCW. Of course, 
announced earlier tonight that new TV deal with Comcast Cable. A huge coast step to coast in Jersey, the growth baby. of JCW. And, and John, aside from that, we've seen you know the debut of Malice here tonight. We've right, seen crowbar. we've seen a new champion in Crowbar. Right. Solution defends night. successfully defends. Look out! You always Starling. leave them out. You never bring them up. Well, I, I was referring to you know people that we weren't expecting to be here. Okay. Always Solution. John, I gotta tell you, the, the Solution are almost getting boring. Oh, they're never boring. <laughs> Why? Because we win all the time, kind of exactly. like the Yankees. Oh, big clothesline there by Malice. A lot of power behind that clothesline. And a big kick sends Ace Darling down again. John, I don't want to sound like I'm taking anything away from your team. They've dominated for almost a year now as tag team champions. Right. Of course, we're going to have to wait to see what whoa, the deal whoa, is whoa, with whoa, the whoa, former whoa, Moondogs. Whoa, whoa. And here's Ecstasy. Look at, well, Malice might have had him there. I think whoa, this one is over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ecstasy getting involved. Little girl, little girl. You don't do that. Well, 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 here, here comes whoa, Tracy Taylor. Whoa. There we go. Tracy Taylor says she wants her, and look at that. Oh, here we go. Cat fight. Meow, 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 meow. Look at Tracy Taylor just trying to take apart ecstasy here. Oh, rip some clothes off. Come on. Well, these two rolling around now. No one's really getting an edge. Oh, no, don't pull them apart, Malice. And, well. Take her clothes off. There you go. Meanwhile, in the, uh-oh. Ace made a mistake, put his head down. He's gonna pay for it. Power bomb! What impact on the power bomb? And this is gonna do it, I think. He gets two, he gets Malice. three. Malice is your winner. Malice here victorious winner. here in your main event. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, the what a display. Malice. Look out. What an impressive display here in his JCW debut by Malice. Looking great, looking great. Look at this man. Well, John, we really have seen it all tonight. We have a new JCW champion. Oh, yeah. Crowbar. We've seen Malice certainly make his mark. Your team, of course, the solution. I don't want to leave them out. No, Simon Diamond. Simon Diamond successfully defending the TV championship. And who knows what we saw with the former Moondogs, Molson and Wenzel. No, no, again, Those they're guys not on the same page, They apparently. are not a team. They were two guys who happened to did not like the people they were in the ring. Don't you start with that. Well, folks, we're going to have all that information for you. Check us out on the web, jcwwrestling.com. Also, be sure to pick up this month's issue of Crossfire Magazine for a special article written by yours truly on JCW. What? You plugging yourself? Jeez. I'm plugging JCW. All right. I'm sitting here with the former JCW heavyweight champion, Inferno. I don't know what to say, man. I, I really don't. I mean, I've watched you for almost a year defend that title, and tonight, Crowbar comes in from your past and beats you. Jeez, I don't know what's going through your head. It must be something. You know, John, one year ago, Ricky Steamboat himself raised my hand to win the JCW title, one of the proudest moments of my career. And tonight, I was beaten by a better man, I guess. You know, Crowbar came from my past, a feud over 10 years long, I broke into business with him. So I can't say I'd rather have a better guy than that beat me for the title. But Crowbar, if you think for one second, one second at all, that I'm gonna lay myself down and not come back fighting, you're damn wrong. So, Crowbar, you better watch over your shoulder everywhere you go. Because I'm going to be coming for you again. You know, I just left the dejected Inferno in his dressing room, but now I've turned the corner and come into Crowbar's dressing room, the new JCW heavyweight champion, Crowbar. You come in here one night, pal. You take on the champ and you walk out with the gold. Must be an unbelievable feeling. Well, opportunity knocked. And I opened that door. Now I kicked that door right in. It wasn't done in the most conventional manner. JCW contacted me. They said, we're starting. We're starting up big. We want you to face our champion, Inferno, someone you have a rich wrestling history with. Would you mind coming down and being a mystery opponent? It was pretty wild, mystery opponent. And nobody knew. Nobody, you must have stuck in the back door. Nobody even knew you were here. Any kind of game, surprise is always a key asset to have on your side. So no matter what the reason was, I had a hell of a match with Inferno tonight. Always an incredible competitor. 
from my past, we've gone full circle, and now we've arrived here again, a feud renewed. And in this building next month, I will have no problem putting my JCW title on the line whoa, against whoa, whoa, Inferno whoa, whoa. next Whoa, 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 I gotta cut you off right there. You know, next month, October 19th, Simon Diamond, the JCW television champion, has got it written in the contract that he faces the JCW champion next time, and the next match is October 19th, so you're the champion, so I guess you're facing Simon Diamond right here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Simon Diamond. Right. JCW television champion. Right. He could bring that belt here next month, bring himself, bring his television title, and when the night is over, I will take both the JCW heavyweight championship, the JCW television champion, hold them both high, and be the rightful owner as I leave his battered, bloody body in the ring. And when that night is over, I will come back here the following month and I will grant in front of that title shot he so recently deserves. But once again, I will pin his shoulders to the mat, one, two, three, and keep my rightful spot as JCW heavyweight champion. I'm, I just gotta add this. I mean, he walks in one night and wins the JCW heavyweight strap. He's going next month for the television title. He's gonna get himself a partner and come in November and come after my tag straps. What's with this guy? I'm out of here.